Hey, excuse me over there. I don't need a disclaimer. This is my channel. Argue with your pets. If you don't have one, maybe argue with your best friend. If you don't have that either, hmm, I can't help you. All opinions are mine, and that's that. <laughs> How good to see you again so soon, Mr. Week. Hey guys, I it's the Delphinator here, this and this I'm is not that guy anymore. Let's talk about John not Week 2. When I think of John Week, my first thought is head shots. No, not like portraits. I mean actual bullets lodged in people's skulls. The whole experience of John Wick 2 was like being in a video game. It was an out of body experience for me. All senses peaked with adrenaline coursing through my body like water from a hot spring. This movie made me feel like I could be anything, do anything, like fly or even just shoot something. Uh, I mean like with a water gun, oh, everybody calm down. <laughs> anyway, John Wick 2 was made with an estimated budget of $40 million and has grossed over $160 million so far. Far. That's four times what they spent. Damn! John Wick 2 tells the story of an assassin who is forced out of retirement and delves back into the criminal underworld society to pay back a debt. He then realizes a bounty has been placed on his head and he must do everything he can to stay alive. It was directed by Chad Stahelski and stars Keanu Reeves, Ricardo Scarmacio, Ruby Rose, come on, Lawrence Fishburne and a number of others. The director of this film, Chad Stahelski, is the real star for me on this project. He comes from a kickboxing background and has played stunt double for a myriad of actors, including Keanu Reeves himself. He was stunt double for Reeves in the Matrix trilogy and then, in 2014, he made his directing debut with John Wick Chapter 1, starring Reeves. How cool is that? Stahelski's background in kickboxing ties everything together, as John Wick 2 is really heavy on the action sequences. It boasts some of the most complex fight choreographies I've ever seen. I was literally on the edge of my seat, watching intently and screeching like a banshee at each jab, poke, punch, strike and stab. To say the least, it was intense. The best part about the cinema experience for me was watching other people's reactions to the artistic violence splattered across the giant screen. <laughs> it goes without saying, but I'ma say it anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie and I sure did get my money's worth. They might as well take some more as I'm going to see it a second time and then again when it's out on DVD. I gather that the third chapter is already in the works although Stahelski is currently working on another project, the Highlander reboot. Whatever they they do, John Wick 3 must not be made without the writer-director team that is Derek Kolstad and Chad Stahelski. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, I give John Wick 2 a 4 Jollof rating. Go check it out guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, okay? It's the Delphinator here, always great hanging with you guys. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and share. Until the next one, toodles!